You've got to stop using the YouTube algorithm as a scapegoat for why you or your favorite creator's channels have died. And I can finally say this as the proud owner of a dead YouTube channel. I think that word is thrown around way too much and I think it's a lot more simple than most people realize. This is not only, I think, very interesting, but also it can actually save you some money because you won't have to go to all those like YouTube gurus who will share the secret. There is no secret. The, the secret is that there's views and there's impressions. Everyone can see views on a video. The creator can see the impressions. The view is when you watch enough of the video to count as a view. The impression is when you are shown the title and thumbnail of a video. The number of people that go from being an impression to a view is the click-through rate. It's the number of people that click on it and convert into a view. For example, my most viewed video has 2.6 million views, but 50 million impressions. So my little face was shown on people's home feeds 50 million times, people scrolling through. Every time they scroll by my face and see it, that's an impression. 3.4% of those people converted into a view. So YouTube is going to prioritize videos that get higher click-through rates because otherwise it's just wasted space on the homepage if they're not clicking the videos. For reference, my worst perform, <laughs> my lowest viewed video, 100 views, uh, it has 9,000 impressions, which is a click-through rate of 0.4. Watch time is also kind of important. It's how long people watch the video. So basically what YouTube and viewers and creator, what everyone cares about is getting videos that interest them on their home feed so that they actually click and watch them. Now, here's the problem. People are saying, hey, I haven't seen your channel in months on my home feed. The last time I saw you was like the Fire Ant videos or even before that, the Reptile Room videos. Now, in my humble opinion, <laughs> You're using YouTube wrong. Now, back in my day, we had something called RSS feeds, which were actually a little bit before my time. I, I'd never used an RSS feed. However, when I grew up on social media, everything on my home feed was people that I was following in reverse chronological order. And that's when life was simple and easy. The problem is there became too much content, too many creators, and people were just like flooding home feeds. So the home feed became an algorithm, which in my opinion means that the home feed is no longer for watching recurring people you like, it's for discovering new people. It turns out, according to my comments, most of you, and according to the analytics, none of you really use the subscriptions tab. You all just go to the home feed of YouTube and you just kind of wait for it to be delivered to you. The home feed isn't intended to be your subscriptions. That's why That's why it's a separate tab. That's why it's a subscriptions tab. Now there is the whole other problem of people getting unsubscribed from channels. Personally, I'd, I've had this happen maybe once to people I'm subscribed to. Apparently a lot of you just randomly get unsubscribed. I still don't understand that. YouTube still kind of denies it, I think, last I saw. So you don't have to use it. You can keep using your home feed. But long story short, the reason that me and other channels that you watch kind of just disappear and vanish from your home feed is most likely because our click-through rates decline. So the most obvious reason for this is that I'm not creating as much reptile content. And there's a tab on YouTube that shows me exactly who you are watching. I know who you're watching. You can't hide it from me, okay? Let's check it out, shall we? And ever since this feature has come out, all 15 of these have switched around, but it's always been reptile creators, except for one. It's spot number 11, Fish for Thought. Does he have any? Reptile videos. I am sad to announce that he has a crested gecko in basically all of this. Fish tank review 180? I did 17 rating your reptile videos and I actually went insane. What is wrong with you? Uh, long story short, it's, it's all reptile channels, except for one time there was a candle making channel for some reason that you also, some of you were watching. However, the thing that made me realize it's not an end all be all is because we have two mini series I did that we can compare. The Ant Saga, as you've called it, and uh, the trip that I recently went on that I vlogged. They were each about five videos and the Ant Saga did really well. It's how a lot of you kind of rediscovered or discovered the channel and the average click-through rate was about 7%, which is pretty dang good. Compared to the vlog series, it was an average click-through of like three to 4%. So basically half of that. And so as I posted each one, YouTube was like, well, we're just wasting space on the home feed. Very few people are clicking on it compared to the Ant videos. And so that's kind of the time where it just, it wasn't pushing it out to you. Then I did, of course, my PUBG video, which I'm very proud of and you should still watch it. It's my favorite video I've made, but that's aside the point. The PUBG video has a click through of 2%, which is the lowest I've gotten in a long time. And so YouTube didn't shadow ban my channel. They didn't suppress this video. They gave 103,000 people the opportunity to click on it. It just wasn't something people wanted to watch. That could be because the title sucks. It could be because the thumbnail sucks because that's what has to suck people in. Or it could just be that nobody cares about the topic. And sometimes that just happens. After all, it was PUBG, but it's a good video. Go watch it, okay? <laughs> but that is when a lot of you rediscovered my channel and that is through the video 
my channel died. <laughs> this has a click-through rate of 10.1%, which is the highest I've seen in probably over a year. That's one in every 10 people that saw this face, that saw this thumbnail, clicked on it, which is insane to me, at least to that. That's insane for my channel. And so when YouTube said, it was like, oh shoot, first 30 minutes, they push it out to some people. Wow, one out of 10 people clicking on this. All right, let's push it out to more. Wow, it's still, it's keeping up. Let's push it out to more. And that's why it got pushed into your home feeds is because YouTube was like, mm, money. This video make money. I want the money. And ultimately YouTube, it's owned by Google. Google is on the publicly traded stock market. You can go buy Google shares. The goal of any public company is to make profits for the share holders. Their products have to make money. YouTube is their product. YouTube makes money by ads getting views. The ads only get views if the videos get views. The videos only get views if people are clicking on them. And so that's why YouTube flooded all of your home feed with my face again, because a lot of you just found interest in my most recent or second most recent video. And that's why more sensitive, more controversial, and more age-restricted videos just don't get impressions because advertisers don't want their brands associated with the more sensitive topics. So that means YouTube is wasting valuable space that could me making money with a video that's not going to make money. And I just realized while editing that since 2018, YouTube has given my channel 1.1 billion impressions, which is kind of ridiculous. I think they added this because they got tired of people saying, YouTube's not showing my channel to people. So now it literally says 73.9% are from YouTube recommending your content. Maybe I'm just reading this wrong, but to me, this feels a little bit passive aggressive, which I think is funny. My most recent, I Got A Real Job, has a click through of 8.5%. So still very good, not quite as good, but YouTube is, is pushing their way back out. And I, I wanna make a prediction for this video. I don't think this is gonna interest as many people. I think it'll be much lower, actually. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna go conservative. I think this one's gonna get four, 0.2% click-through rate. I'll, I'll post a comment in a few days and tell you what the click-through rate is and you can check back in the future. So long story short, the whole mystical, mysterious algorithm is just make title and thumbnail that look clickable and don't disappoint them when they click on it because YouTube gives quite a few opportunities for creators. However, I don't know how to grow a channel today. I started growing my channel a decade ago when the algorithm was completely different. When like tags don't even do anything now. I used to like obsess over tags. I paid for extensions just to formulate video tags. I would spend literal hours making the perfect tags for my video and now it doesn't do anything. So it's changed a lot. Unfortunately, if you're starting fresh, I don't really have advice because I've never, <laughs> I haven't done it in modern day YouTube. Now I will say I've, I've had a lot of like very small channels and creators popping up in my home feed because I, I'm an intellectual all right, I use my home feed and I use my subscriptions tab. When I want to see what's happening from my usual view, my usual channels, I check the subscriptions tab. When I want something new, I check the home feed. That's, that's because I am a smart man and that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and also a whole other topic, I'm seeing how long I've been recording. Yeah, I can talk about this. It won't be too long, um, is YouTube shorts. This is a very common other reason people bring up. Uh, I, I hate YouTube shorts. I don't like short form content. It's not for me. I guess I'm just too old now. I don't like making it. I don't like watching it. However, I'm going to defend shorts or I'm going to defend YouTube, I guess here. YouTube just has to follow what makes, what, what gets the engagement and younger people and more people are more engaged in shorter form content. So yeah, they're pushing shorts like crazy and it is annoying, but I just have to suck it up and either make the shorts or not make the shorts and stop complaining. So I, I'm just gonna complain anyway. I can do what I want. It's my channel after all. However, uh, I, I think that it's pretty different groups of people. And so I've posted, I think six or seven shorts, but I ended up just unlisting them all. Uh, and one got removed for violating in terms of service which I believe is because it's just a different group of people. It's A, younger people who can't understand a joke, and B, just people that don't really watch the long form videos. I am sad to say that over 10 minutes is now long form. That used to, 10 to 20 minute videos used to be short form, but now short form is like less than a minute. So I don't think that long long form content is going to die and short, short form is simply, it's, it's what kids are coming up on these days. I came up on YouTube, older old people the old geezers came up on probably longer stuff i don't know i wasn't around I'm, I'm a younger person i came up on youtube what was happening before you tell me i wasn't there and so that's probably what the future kids are going to be saying i came up on short form it's just generational change it's evolution what was this video about so i think shorts do more good than bad and this is coming from a very anti-short person um i'm very tall in fact I don't think it's necessarily hurting long form content. I think it's just giving more opportunities for people to discover content 
So I just don't like, I don't know. I'm not saying I won't make shorts again, but it just, I don't think it really fits my style. Uh, my channel, I don't think is shadow banned. I'll update you if my top 15 related channels ever has one that isn't 14 reptiles and one fish plus crested gecko. And uh, that'll be it. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you want um, even deeper dives into this kind of thing, just let me know and I can do them. And uh, I'll update you on what the click-through ratio is for this one. L plus ratio as the zoomers say.